I would have paid my own way to go, all of that. So it comes back to my team that Oprah was a little put off. I'm tired of being the bigger man. Mm. My grandfather said, boy, if you got to keep always being the bigger man, you're hanging around with too many small damn people. Skip tweeted something, and although I disagree with the tweet, uh, and, and uh, hopefully uh, Skip would take it down. Shannon Sharp has never been one to hold back his thoughts, but his latest comments about Oprah Winfrey are shocking everyone. In a bold move, Shannon aimed Oprah, addressing rumors, power dynamics, and the way he's felt about Hollywood's elite. What did Shannon say that could end his relationship with one of the most powerful women in entertainment? And how did he finally break free from keeping quiet? Shannon Sharp has built a career on saying what others won't, whether in sports commentary or personal conversations. Known for his fierce opinions, he doesn't let anyone off easy, no matter how influential they may be. Recently, however, Shannon turned his focus to someone unexpected, Oprah Winfrey, and his remarks have left many fans and critics alike stunned. It's not every day that someone stands up to Oprah, one of the most respected and powerful figures in the entertainment industry. But for Shannon, it was time to let people know how he truly felt. From his thoughts on Oprah's influence to how Hollywood's power players really operate, Shannon's comments are not just bold, they're explosive. I would have paid my own way to go, all of that. So it comes back to my team that Oprah was a little put off by the way my agency was playing hardball with her. And somehow, Quincy got wind of this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I think she called Quincy on she, you, man. Well, she's friends with Quincy, and I'm friends with her now. I'm friends with Oprah now, so we all good. But at the time, she's like, Who, what's going on? And Quincy calls me up like, man, you need to talk to your people because whatever they're doing representing you, like, it's not a good representation. It's not a good representation. It's not a good look. You're messing up your relationship with somebody who is, you know, obviously could, could be help. very helpful in your career. And why? Like, because you're trying to get a little extra money and not think about the big picture. Mm -hmm. And I was so embarrassed, man. The first time I talked to Quincy Jones is him reprimanding me because my agent was trying to play hardball right. with Oprah. And so... But he's being an agent. Yeah, he's being an agent, but like when people are representing you, they're representing you. Correct. And and that's why you got to be careful about who you let, let represent, represent you. you. Correct. And so, you know, I learned that lesson. And also, like, I knew, like, it was an honor to play this event. And uh, if he was representing me, really, he would have known that I would have been honored to play this event. And he didn't need to play hardball in, in this situation. <laughs> there are times when you should play hardball. And there's other times when the opportunity is enough where you don't need to get paid cash for it or, or you don't need something in return. The opportunity is enough. Right. Is All of Me the greatest song you've ever written? I don't know. I think, you know, a lot of people say All of Me. Some people say Ordinary People. Shannon has hinted before at his frustration with Hollywood's elite, often feeling that the industry favors a select few, while others are forced to conform. He has even mentioned feeling tired of always being the bigger man, implying that he's often had to play by the rules while others enjoy immunity. In recent months, Shannon's attitude has changed. He's tired of staying quiet, especially about the influence certain people hold. This change in perspective has led him to openly question the motivations of those at the top, including Oprah. Shannon sees the entertainment world through a different lens, one that challenges the power dynamics many accept without question. I'm tired of being the bigger man. Mm. My grandfather said, boy, if you got to keep always being the bigger man, you're hanging around with too many small damn people. Mm. I'm not finna be the bigger man. I'm not going to let you keep taking your shots at me and I turn the other cheek. That's in the Bible. Mm. I ain't in there. Mm. I'm going to put some on you. For years, Shannon has been subtly hinting at feeling sidelined or pressured within Hollywood's inner circle. While he's a successful sports analyst, he's always been vocal about not letting anyone control his narrative. Oprah, on the other hand, is seen by many as part of Hollywood's untouchable elite. But Shannon isn't about to give anyone a pass just because of their status. His recent remarks suggest that he's no longer willing to stay silent on issues he once brushed off, 
According to Shannon, Hollywood's elite often operate on a different set of rules, something that has bothered him for a while, and it appears he's ready to put an end to this quiet acceptance. I've been in a situation, I've had a, had a great woman, mm -hmm. and I effed it up. Okay. It was me. Right. And as I told her, the, you know, the, uh, the mind replays what the heart can't delete. When you're in a situation, you don't realize how good that situation is because you're there. But now with it, when, when, you, when you remove from that situation, you're like, damn, man, I really messed this up. Shannon isn't the only one to have voiced frustration with Oprah. Comedian Monique also publicly criticized Oprah, calling her out for alleged hypocrisy and perceived betrayal. Monique even addressed Shannon directly, encouraging him not to fear speaking out about Oprah. Her message to Shannon was clear, don't let anyone silence you, no matter how powerful they may seem. For Shannon, this was all the encouragement he needed. Monique's bravery in calling out Oprah seemed to resonate with him, and he made it known that he's not afraid to take a stand. Shannon's comments suggest that he feels empowered by Monique's message and the support of others who understand his perspective. You're here. Why would I bring something that I know that you don't want to talk about? You lived it. Why do I need to replay it again? Ask her. You came up right there. I, but I, I, was, I was trying to get I know, baby, but, but <laughs> ask her. See, this is where it get juicy, right? Yeah, yeah. Because you're, you're, you're saying the right yes. things, but you're asking me questions that I can't answer. Right. I can't answer why Oprah Winfrey did what Oprah Winfrey did. Yeah. Only Oprah Winfrey can answer for her actions. Yes. So again, stop being scared. No, I would not. Shannon's recent statements are part of a bigger picture, as he's not the only one who has felt Oprah's influence firsthand. John Legend once revealed how Oprah got upset with him after a conversation involving Quincy Jones. According to Legend, Oprah wasn't pleased, and her reaction made it clear that even powerful figures in the industry aren't safe from her scrutiny. This story sheds light on the way Oprah's influence can affect those around her, even high-profile celebrities. Shannon's stance could be seen as a response to the way Oprah's authority impacts others. He feels that nobody should have to answer to a single person or group, no matter how iconic they are. For Shannon, this isn't just about Oprah, it's about challenging an entire system that he believes needs change. Oprah is planning a thing called the Legends Ball, uh, where she was going to honor all the black women that meant a lot to her. So she had like Aretha, Rosa Parks, Diane Carroll, uh, Cicely Tyson, mm -hmm. I think Toni Morrison, like all these, yes. like just like the who's who of the black, legends. But exactly, she called it the Legends Ball, and she was planning this Legends Ball, and she, I got a call from my agent, and they were like, uh, Oprah Winfrey wants to call you, and I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> I was excited, so Oprah calls me up, John. I'm planning this thing called the Legends Ball. And uh, by the way, I, in my show, I always say, I'm glad I changed my name to John Legend because I, otherwise I wouldn't have been invited to the Legends Ball. <laughs> uh, but she called me up, asked me to play at this event for like the luncheon during the day. And uh, I believe we had the same agency at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, she was like, I'll talk to your agents and work it all out. And um, Apparently, my agency was like, decided they were gonna ask for everything from Oprah and and like make it like it wasn't an honor and a privilege right. for me to, to be at this event. And you know, she was still doing her talk show at the time. And, and if you appeared on her talk show, it could change your life. Correct. And uh, so they were trying to like do all this negotiation and, and play hardball with Oprah for me to come and sing at this event when I would have done it for free. Right. I would have uh, been I, happy. I paid my own way to go. It's him reprimanding me because my agent was trying to play hardball right. with Oprah. And so. But he's being an agent. Yeah, yep. he's being an agent, but like when people <laughs> are representing you, they're representing you. Correct. And and that's why you got to be careful about who you let, let represent, represent you. you. Correct. And so, you know, I learned that lesson. And also like, I knew like, it was an honor to play this event and uh, if he was representing me, 
really, he would have known that I would have been honored to play this event and he didn't need to play hardball in, in this situation. <laughs> there are times when you should play hardball and there's other times when the opportunity is enough where you don't need to get paid cash for it or, or you don't need something in return. The opportunity is enough. Right. Is All of Me the greatest song you've ever written? I don't know, I think, you know, a lot of men, people say all of me. Some people say ordinary people. I, I actually like ordinary people a little bit more as a song personally. And but part of it's just sentimental because it was so early in my career and it meant so much to me even being where I am now uh, that it's hard for me to imagine my career without it. And it laid the foundation for all of me to, to work because once people understood that, you know, man, John Legend, he gonna sit down at the piano. Ordinary people created John Legend. Yeah, exactly. It really like it set the table for everything else to happen right. after that. But All of Me by far is the biggest song yes. uh, of my career. Yes. Um, it's one of the most popular songs of all, like literally of all time. Like when it comes to streaming, when it comes to all the uh, sold the numbers. over a forty million rec uh, forty million records worldwide. It's yeah. for it's diamond fourteen times platinum. Yeah, All of Me dethroned Pharrell Williams happy. Yeah. on the Billboard Hot One Hundred. It's my only number one on the Hot One Hundred. And um, it's truly still the number one song. If you go to my, you know, any of the streaming platforms, it's the number one song that's played. Shannon's Hollywood experience has been anything but smooth. From his high profile disagreements with Skip Bayless to intense interviews, Shannon's career has been shaped by his refusal to conform. His frustrations boiled over during a recent argument that ultimately led to him leaving undisputed and parting ways with Skip Bayless. This conflict, like his recent comments on Oprah, reflects Shannon's refusal to stay silent, even when it means challenging powerful figures or ending partnerships. Shannon's latest comments about Oprah reflect this same unwillingness to compromise his values. He's hinted that those at the top, like Oprah, expect loyalty, even when it comes at the expense of authenticity and honesty. His decision to speak out signifies a turning point, as he's no longer willing to be part of what he sees as a flawed system. Skip tweeted something, and although I disagree with the tweet, uh, and, and uh, hopefully uh, Skip would take it down, but I didn't want it. Well, yep. time out, time out. I'm not going to take it down because okay. I stand by okay. what I tweeted. Skip, let me okay. finish. Let me, All right, okay. Go ahead. No, you go. Go ahead, let's go, Jen. Okay. I mean, I cannot even get through a monologue without you interrupting okay. me. Well, you could have came back, Skip. Well, I thought, Skip, just let me. I, I didn't I, know I, you I were going to bring no, up No, this. I was just going to say, Skip, I didn't want to yesterday to get into a situation where <sighs> DeMar Hamlin was the issue. We should have been talking about him and not get into, okay. your, not get into your, uh, uh, your tweet. That's what I was going to do. But you can't even let me finish my opening monologue without you interrupting. Okay. I was under the impression you weren't going to bring this up because nobody here had a problem with no, that tweet. No. Clearly, the bosses wanted you to offer explanations, so clearly somebody No, they had a did not have, the, nobody- Let's go, Jen. Despite his public persona, Shannon Sharp has always maintained a level of privacy regarding his personal life, especially regarding relationships. In past interviews, he's shared that he's never been married, partly due to his focus on staying true to himself. This dedication to honesty, both in personal relationships and his career, could be one reason he feels strongly about speaking out against Hollywood's pressure to conform. Shannon's recent statements about Oprah seem to align with his philosophy on relationships, staying authentic and true no matter the cost. By challenging the powerful figures in Hollywood, he's demonstrating the same principle he lives by. Never compromise who you It's about Oprah reveal a deeper frustration with the way Hollywood's elite hold on to power. For years, Shannon stayed quiet, playing by the industry's rules. But now he's making it clear that he's tired of feeling bound by expectations set by Hollywood's top figures. In his words, Shannon wants to be free from the influence of anyone who tries to silence him. His message is powerful. He's done letting Hollywood's elite control. Shannon Sharp's comments about Oprah Winfrey have sent shockwaves through Hollywood. By challenging Oprah, Shannon has made a bold statement about power, control, and the need for authenticity. He's tired of playing the bigger man and staying silent just to keep others comfortable. And now he's ready to say what others won't, even if it means calling out Hollywood's biggest names. 
For Shannon, this isn't just about Oprah, it's about breaking free from a system he believes is holding people back. His words echo a sentiment many feel but rarely express. The power players in Hollywood need to be held accountable, and nobody should be immune from criticism. Shannon's stand could inspire others in the industry to speak out as well, and his comments remind us that sometimes, challenging those in power is the only way to bring about change. To put a man in fear for his job. I hate, I detest, I despise someone that will prey on the weak. And because Jerry Jones is in an advantageous situation, because he has the power in this situation, he would actually say that publicly. That lets you that tells me a lot about a man. That'll tell me a lot about a man that has power and would abuse that power to tell that man, I will get somebody in here to ask me favorable questions. That is absolutely that guy's job, is to ask Jerry, why did, Stephen A, what you should have done is say, well, Jerry, you see the way you guys were getting ran through last year? And you mean to tell me you had guys on the bench that could have done a better job and right. you're waiting till this year to play them? Thank that you. doesn't sound very smart to me. Well, I, I don't know about you, Saturday and Swagoo, but normally, guys that can play, they normally play. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.